Hello everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me today. I am doing the Love From Lizzie 10 Cards 1 Kit video. This is the October 2017 card kit. And I already cut, trimmed down my card stock. I scored it. And then um, for a list of what came in the kit, you can watch my unboxing. I'll try and remember to leave it at the end here to where you can click on over. And unfortunately, this kit has sold out. I'm so sorry about that. But for those of you who did get this one I, or um, want a little bit of inspiration on Halloween cards, I thought this would be perfect. So we're going to jump in. Um, there's In the 6x6 six six pattern paper, there's these little tags. Well, they weren't tags. Um, I made them into tags, let's put it that way. I just trimmed them, I fussy cut them out, added some brads, or actually eyelets, and then I threaded the baker's twine through the top. So I have three little tags. Now each of those images, I wanted to be holding um, some bones. <laughs> this was, this kind of cracked me up. When I, when I made it, I thought, what are you making? <laughs> but it ended up kind of turning scary into cute and so that was what my intention was. The kit came with a taupe colored chameleon pen so I just colored them in and fussy cut those images out. I have a hand, a, a tibia, a femur, looks more like a femur to me, and then um, a foot. So once I have those cut out, here's where I'm going in the mouth of the alligator. And I thought it would be fun to add one of those bones as if he was, um, as if he caught an, an arm or leg or hand. <laughs> and so, um, plus it added a lot of dimension to a somewhat plain card. So that was my theory behind this, but I thought it was very funny. So I added the bones to the tags. So that you got the snake holding the foot and then you have the claw I guess it's the hot claw holding the hand. So I'm grabbing a sentiment from the stamp set, and for this a sentiment, I chose uh, meant tibia to be. Oh, I want. I keep saying to be together, but it's meant tibia together. So kind of real fun, a real punny, I should say. I'm just gonna stamp it with Versamark ink on. Um, this is actually Versafine. Sorry, <laughs> but um, this piece of vanilla cardstock was left over from when I trimmed down my card bases. So I stamped it on there and then I added clear embossing powder and heat set that. And then I cut it out using a sentiment die. Now I'm going to be using the orange card base and just to tone it down a little bit, this is the shimmer paper that came in the kit and it's an orange color, real pretty. And so I just trimmed it down so it'll fit on the very front of my card base. Using my glue runner, I'm just going to adhere that. There we go. Now I'm taking this diamond shaped pattern paper and I'm going to place it on the card at an angle. And then I'm just going to figure out my placement. I am going to pop up each of those tags with some foam tape. And I'm going to flip those that baker's twine behind it and then I'm just going to secure it to this panel here with some tape, some scotch tape. And I saved those little ends because on the end of the sentiment I wrapped some more baker's twine around it just to give it a little bit of interest. But I'm going to place this pan, I, I added fun foam behind it to lift it up and then I added it to my card base. I popped up my sentiment as well, added a little bit of Spectrum Noir Shimmer to each of those bones, and here you can see that Baker's Twine on the sentiment, but that's card number one. Okay, now moving on to card number two, this piece of vellum here, I love this little bottle. Um, I added, I'm using my tape runner and adding it to a piece of white cardstock. It's going to give it stability and it's going to take away the sheerness of the vellum. So I'm just going to fussy cut that out and place it aside. Now in this card, I lost some footage. Um, I wasn't. I, did, I guess I didn't hit the record button. But um, here I'm taking the inside piece of this vellum and I, I cut it out. So we have the two vellum in, uh, elements, and then 
I wanted the little piece of newspaper too. So I'm going to cut out a strip of this newspaper. Lovely. Now I'm taking some vintage photo distress ink and I'm just using my finger dauber and I'm going to go around the edges of the paper and then also of the, the jar there, the vellum jar. Um, I also took my scissors and kind of went around the edges of that newspaper to give it a real uh, weathered look. And so those are my images for my card base. Now we need to work on our sentiment. There, there's not very many Halloween sentiments. Well, there isn't any Halloween sentiments in this um, kit. So I had to throw in my own. So I had the spooky from my stash. And so I cut it out with the black pearly colored cardstock and then also some fun foam. I'm, re I'm voiceovering this really early in the morning, so you're going to hear the roosters going crazy. I'm so sorry about that. I guess if you think about it, it kind of could go with the theme of the kit. <laughs> but I'm taking this webbing, this black, it's real stiff webbing, and I use it a lot in this kit. And I'm just going to use my tape runner and place that in the center of my card. Here's where I lost the footage. I took that Argyle pattern paper and I placed it on the card base. And then for my stash, I had some black, um, well, some swirl stamps. I added a few swirly edges to the corners with some VersaFine and um, clear embossing powder. Um, and then I placed the vellum right on top of it. But I added my sentiment on a piece of the vanilla cardstock. That was just a leftover strip from when I trimmed down the papers. I added a little bit of shimmer and then a black bow on the bottom using the satin ribbon and that was it for card number two but I think that's probably my favorite one so let's move along to card number three now for card number three I went through my dies and found a one that had um, a jagged edge and so this is a postage edge die I'm not really fond of it but I thought it would work really perfect with this card so I cut out a, um, a panel with black cardstock and then I cut out the inside of it with this green shimmer paper here and I distressed the edges with some black soot distress ink. Now I'm going to pop that up with some foam tape and place that right in the center. lovely now again um, now for my stash my Halloween is um, probably um, I don't have very many Halloween stamps or sentiments I have very minimal so I was grabbing whatever I had so I had this trick-or-treat die and I'm gonna just using my glue glue it on this panel here now here's where I took that leftover piece of paper from the previous card and I cut it out and glued it on the end of my black card base there. Now I'm adding glue to the back of this panel and then I'm taking that webbing that came in the kit and this was actually kind of fun. <laughs> it's, and I'm twisting and turning it so my sentiment, my trick-or-treat sentiment is kind of covered with webbing and it cuts and it stretches really easy so I had I had fun with this. <laughs> So it takes a kind of a boring sentiment and makes it really interesting and it adds a lot of dimension, which is nice. I'm taking the orange shimmer paper and then I'm taking the green shimmer paper that's slightly, I'm cutting out a rectangle slightly larger. And then I'm basically crisscrossing them on my card base. I did add some double-sided tape behind my sentiment. This way I know it's going to stick really good. And I'm just going to place that in the center. Um, I use glue dots to secure the spider next to my sentiment. Now I would suggest you using a glue gun to get it really adhered on there because I'm not sure if this is going to pop up later. But for to add a little shimmer and shine I use the Midnight Sky Nuvo Crystal Drops and that's card number three. Okay now for card number four I'm taking a, a white card base or a white card panel I should say that's slightly smaller than my card base. Now I'm going to cut out this or I'm going to trim down this vellum here 
just so it fits on the very top part of that panel and it leaves me a little bit of an edge. Later on I'm going to go in with some um, of the Love from Lizzie Peel Offs. But I'm adding, using my tape runner, I'm going to add that to the very top of my panel here. And I don't know if it's just my tape runner or not, but you can see the tape behind it. So um, here's where I added the peel offs. And then just for a little bit more, I added two different sizes on the bottom there. And I went straight across with it. Now, Lizzie's kit came with this beautiful, well, I ca I'm calling it beautiful because I'm going to use it for the holidays, <laughs> but it's a real nice um, door die. So to spooky it up, I'm taking some black soot and I went around the edges and I really made that door look dingy. I wanted a dingy door. <laughs> so I'm taking the ribbon, the sparkle ribbon, and it fit perfectly behind the door. So now I'm going to give that dingy door a little shimmer. I didn't know if dingy and shimmer went together, but I thought it looked really nice. <laughs> so, there's my door there. Now, I that was where I meant to put it, but I thought it needed a little bit more. So, I'm taking some black cardstock, and I'm going to trim down a small rectangle that will fit right behind the door. And then that just wasn't doing it for me, so then I thought I'm going to make a triangle and make a rooftop. And then after I got that done, I thought, well, I need a, now I need a chimney. So I'm going to cut out a little little um, piece of black cardstock there and make my little chimney. So I have a real small little house. kind of looks like, I guess, like a townhouse. <laughs> and I place my chimney on there, and then I'm going to glue that to my rectangle. And so now I have a house for my door. <laughs> I pop my door up with some foam tape and I'm going to place that right in the center here. And then I was just wondering what sentiment would go with this. So for my stash, and I, like I said, I have very minimal Halloween sentiments, but I did have home sweet home. So I thought, well, that would go perfect with the sentiment. Well, this that sentiment would go perfect with this card. So I'm adding glue to my home and I actually added it to the wrong spot so I wiped it off and then I'm going to add it to the green pearlescent paper that I had cut out and then shifted it a little bit on another um, black cardstock that I had cut out with that too just so it, it stands out a little bit more. So that's my home screen home. I'm going to adhere that panel to a piece of, well, to my black card base. And then um, I just had that white paper on my desk, so I thought, well, it's on my desk. I want to adhere it to the inside. Now we can write your message. So that's card number four. Now for card number five, I am taking this piece of vellum that has the owl on it. I'm adding, um, using my tape runner, I'm going to add tape behind the darker vellum area and place it on my white card stock here. Now next I'm taking the orange ribbon that came in the kit and I'm going to tie a bow right across that black strip here. I think when you have something scary if it, it softens it so much when you add a bow. <laughs> so um, I love adding bows softening the scary kit. <laughs> I made another one of those little tags and threading it with the baker's twine and I'm going to place that little owl tag right next to the owl and then for my stash actually um, I think it was the last Halloween card I made I, ha I had a sentiment that said have a spooktacular Halloween so I'm just going to stamp that with some VersaFine on top of the vellum carefully and then I'm going to add some clear embossing powder and then I'm going to go ahead and melt that embossing powder. So that is my sentiment for that card. I'm going to add some foam tape behind my panel here and then for this card I'm going to be using the orange card base. I'm going to place it right in the center. Oops. 
I'm going to add some uh, foam tape behind my little tag. And I needed another something there. And you can see here too, I added a little bit of that black webbing. Just, I like that webbing because it adds so much texture to a card. So I could add another piece of little newspaper. And I did distress the edges of the tag and the newspaper with some um, vintage photo, I believe, or black soot, one or the other, just to darken it a little bit. Now, once I have that done, our little scene is done, I'm going to top it off with some of the Midnight Sky Nouveau Crystal Drops. And then I did use glossy accents for the owl's eyes on the tag and then on, on the vellum also. So that's it for that card. Okay, now we're going to move along to card number six. For card number six, I thought we had those googly eyes that we need to make some little mummies. So I'm taking the gauze. There's two different sizes. And so um, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to cut it all into bit, about the same size strips. Okay, now I'm going to take my tape runner and on each side of this cardstock, I'm adding some tape, some sticky tape, and then I'm taking the gauze and then I'm just going to wrap it around each of those strips of white cardstock there. Once I have that done, I secured it with some, some more of my tape, just use my tape runner. And then I'm taking this panel here, this, this paper, pattern paper. Using a stitch rectangle die, I cut out a panel, and then using some smaller rectangle dies, I'm kind of arranging them on that pattern paper there. And then I want to secure it down with some posty tape. And then I ran that through my die cut machine, and then while they were still in that panel, I added some of my, my tape runner behind it, and then I placed it on my panel that way they're positioned perfectly. I don't have to fuss with it later on. They're, that's where they're going to stay. And when I put my top piece on, it's going to be perfect. Now, just using my tape runner, I added each of those um, gauzed cardstock strips behind each of those rectangle windows. And then I popped that whole entire thing up with some, fun, um, some foam tape. And then I'm placing it back in its home where it originally was. So I have a background, but I also have like little windows of gauze. I added the googly eyes. Now I use glue dots for the googly eyes, but I would suggest a glue gun because they kept popping off, um, the eyes kept popping off of the glue dots. But just to give it a weathered look, I'm adding some, I believe this is tea dye distress ink. And then I, again, I cut out that spooky and I used fun foam for the spooky, so it was easy to go over with the distress ink. So that's it for that card. Very fun, simple, and easy card, but love those little googly eyes. <laughs> okay, now for card number seven, I cut out the strip of this paper here. Now I wanted the left edge of this paper to have a little bit of this, um, it's like a brick, maybe a, uh, no, it reminds me of a pumpkin spice latte colored shimmer paper. <laughs> so I cut out a strip in the shape of an L and I'm just going to adhere that to my pattern paper. Good way to stretch your shimmer paper. <laughs> I'm going to trim off the ends there. Lovely. Now for this card I'm going to be using the vanilla card base and just using my glue runner, my tape runner, I am going to adhere this directly on top of my card base, up in that corner. There we go. I love the colors of these three pattern papers. They're just very pretty. Now we're going to soften this a little bit by adding some of this satin ribbon. I'm going to tie it in the bow on the bottom. Trim off the ends there. Now taking the larger tags that came in a 12 by 12 sheet, well, I'm calling them tags, but they're kind of really not tags. But I'm taking several of them. I'm actually taking three of them. And what I'm going to do is layer them together. So the first tag here with the crocodile has the black border edge. 
and then I took the one with the crow and cut out up to the um, the domed part edge and then I distressed it using some vintage photo what I'm going to do is pop that up and place that on the very first one and then I'm going in with this next one now I'm going to cut out the inner circle of that one so I don't want any of the orange trim around it I was going to use the snake and then change my mind so I'm going to use the owl <laughs> so now I have the inside part here I decided to trim out that owl and he was really easy to fussy cut out lovely now I want to fill in that space there so I'm just using my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and place that on there and then I'm going to trim trim that back out so I have a full looking tag I'm going to distress the edges again with some vintage photo I use distressings a lot during these 10 cards because I just think it, it went together so well and then now I'm going over the owl doing the same thing I'm going to pop up that owl with some foam tape and place it back in its home where it was but only he, now he has some di dimension to him and then I'm going to pop up this whole panel here and place it on top of that crow one so there's basically one two three layers it, but it, believe it or not it's not that bulky but I love the way that looked it just popped out at you now to add a little bit of texture on my card I'm adding some more of that black webbing just using my glue runner I'm going to tape it to the right side of this little panel I'm going to give it a little haircut and place that on my card base and that's it for that card okay now we're going to move along to card number eight now card number eight let's see I'm going to cut out a little scene here so I'm using the green shimmer paper and I'm going to cut out two like mini heel sides lovely I'm going to go in with some black soot distress ink and go over the tops and the edges of my little heel side and then later I did go cut out a small rectangle panel with the black it's almost like a slate colored shimmer paper so I cut out a panel a rectangle with that okay so I have that there and then I cut out my rectangle now I had no more Halloween sentiment so I had to make my own I have this alphabet die or al alphabet die or alphabet stamp set so I just stamped out the word boo with some uh, Versamark ink and then um, used some white embossing powder and heat set it so that's my sentiment there now I'm using some masking paper and I need a moon on my background so to go over this uh, shimmer paper I'm just using some um, Memento Lux ink I think this is wedding dress and I created a little moon in the back now to, for this card I wanted to use the little RIP embellishment and then two of the little coffins in the pattern paper so I added the first hillside to my black rectangle paper and then I popped up the second one along with the sentiment and then I added my little coffins and then my little RIP I did remove the backing off of that it's a button so you'll need to remove the backing off of that so that's my little scene now for the background of my scene I cut out some of this spiderweb pattern paper and then I'm going to be using this yellow card base which was really vivid bright yellow so to tone it down a little bit I'm going over the edges with some black soot distress ink lovely now my intention was to add the spider red paper and then my little scene but it just needed a little pop of color or a pop of brightness so I added a piece of white cardstock behind that panel and then adhered everything to my card oh and I did add a baker's twine bow gotta add the bows <laughs> okay now moving on to card number nine I have to use this the stamp set it is it's very 
pun it was very funny. So I decided to use the skeleton hand and I stamped it all over a piece of white cardstock and then also on a piece a strip of white cardstock. Now I'm going in with a high five, stamping it right below, which I got it too close to the bone. So later on um I end up um stamping the hand again and then stamping it below just so it looked better. But I stamped the high five all over my white panel. So <laughs> this it was so funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I am going um, over the edges of this panel with some um, antique linen, Distress Oxide ink. Lovely. And then over the edge of that, I'm going to go in with some black soot. Now here's the, where you can see where I stamped my little hand again down there on the bottom. I'm going to use a stitch rectangle die and cut that that out and do the exact same thing with the Distress Oxide ink and then the um, Black Soot Distress ink. Lovely. So that's my sentiment piece. Now I am going to color in all the bones that are on this panel here and then also the larger panel and it gave it a really nice um, color. Now I cut out a frame using that black slate shimmer paper, specialty paper. I'm adding my tape runner behind it and then I'm going to place that directly on that black webbing and it's so stiff that it works so great for frames, oh my goodness. And I'm just going to cut it out, easy to very easy to cut out. Using my tape runner I'm going to adhere that centerpiece to there. No, then I'm going to flip it over. Well, I'm taking my panel and I'm going to adhere it to the vanilla card stock. So that's my, or my vanilla card base. And then here's where I flip it over and add some foam tape behind that panel. This card, um, you guys, if you want to visit my blog, um, I'll have close up pictures and I use a different camera for my pictures on my blog. So you'll really see the detail. Um, this looks actually really neat. I really, this is probably my second favorite one, even though I don't, I'm not a fan of bones. <laughs> that turned out really neat, so you, you might want to check it out. Okay, for my final card, I, I was running out of sentiments and I was running out of supplies. So, fast and easy, but I really like the way this turned out. I took the last chocolate brown card base and split it into two. I placed one half on a piece of white cardstock or white uh, card base for my stash and then I, I cut out a frame with the second part. Now using temporary adhesive I'm going to adhere that directly on top of my um, my card base here. And then this is the same stamp that I used for an earlier card. I, I think I, I missed the the video shooting of that one. But I'm just adding two two swirls on each corner and then I really really wanted to use this embossing powder it was so pretty it has little brown or black flakes in it with glitter and so after stamping the images with Versamark I added the embossing powder and then I'm going to go ahead and add some Versamark ink to a strip of this paper here and then um, add the embossing powder over the top part of that I love the orange and the brown together I think it looks so regal I just love that Okay, I went ahead and heat set that and I'm going to remove my temporary frame there, remove the sticky off the back and then I used some foam tape and popped up that frame. And then I'm going to place it directly back in its home where it's supposed to go. But I got to flip it over because I got it backwards, <laughs> upside down. But and I, I think that looks so neat. Love the way that looks. Next I take the, I'm taking this pattern paper and I have a Halloween die for my stash. I'm going to cut out that Halloween and I'm going to place that directly on top of that embossed cardstock there. So my background is the same. This embossing powder has so much texture to it. It is so fun. I'm going to add the center of the A and the O and then just finish it off. I did, I did fishtail the ends and place it 
in the center with some foam tape. Adding bells and whistles, I just added some of the Midnight Sky Nouveau Crystal Drops. And that's my final card for today. I hope this gives you lots of ideas on what to do with the kit. I know they're different, a little bit different cards, but I really had fun with this kit. Unfortunately, it sold out, um, but I just want to give you some ideas. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I wish you a lovely day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.